Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Today we're going to a classic British brewery and it's the Fuller's from the Griffin Brewery. As you can see, it's, this is their Black Cab Stout coming in at 4.5% ABV and 40 IBUs. Purchased this yesterday in Asda in Ramsgate. Um, part of their four for six pound kind of jobbies, you know, so I went and bought eight beers, so 12 quid for eight beers, can't go wrong. All different breweries. Um, so yeah, 4.5% ABV. I've had this beer quite a few times. I've, I probably bought this beer three or four times as a review beer. But then knowing that I can go just down the road and get another one to review, end up drinking it on a hangout, etc. So chatting to mates and for, oh, just fancy that, you know. Anyway, so yeah. Um, let me tell you a bit about the brewery before we go into the beer. Right, operating from the historic Griffin Brewery site in, in, in Cheswick since 1845, Fuller's is an independent family brewer and premium pub company with beer brands including the award-winning London Pride and ESB, which I've reviewed. The links will be down below for that. I've done. A, I've got quite a playlist now from the Fuller Smith and Turner Brewery. Um, Fuller's has an estate of 186 pubs and hotels split between managing and talented houses including 168 sited within the M25 so within the M25 if you don't know is the it's the London uh, orbital um, highway if you're in America so within that kind of region that's London um, yeah we run we run regular tours of our at their brewery, get in touch, pay us a visit, blah blah. So if you're in from the States or anywhere else apart around the world, if you're in London, yeah, it's definitely worth it. I've never been myself, but I will do one day. Right, back to this beer then. Um, this beer has been on untapped since the 31st of October of 2011, so a little while there. Let's crack into this beer then. It's coming in a 500ml bottle, best before the 1st of October of 2018. There's their regular crown. Bit of smoke on the opening, as you can see. I have my Great British Beer Festival 2015 glass, which Fuller's is a sponsor. It's when I first met some quite a class of very good friends now. Simon and Rob and I got this glass not that I was drinking pints I was all on thirds because we were drinking some some real kind of ABV beers you know so that all goes in so I've got a regular a regular I've got a, a good uh, buddy in America, Paul from PA Brew News, he's a big fan of this brewery, um, he gets a lot of their kind of um, vintage ales and things like that, um, so yeah, he, he he really does enjoy these beers from a bottle, so you've got to get over it Paul and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go around London, there's a fair few in London, so have some beers on cask, so yeah, as you can see, up until 2015, 170 years in brewing. Now let's focus. Let's get an aroma then on this classic beer. Yeah, I mean, it's been out of the fridge probably about 20 minutes. I prefer it to warm up a little bit. I've been in the routine of just throwing everything in the fridge these days. It's not ideal, you want them at room temperature. But this will get more intense as it warms up. Lovely roasted malts going on in this. Nice kind of, I wouldn't say milky chocolate, but it's borderline milk stroke dark chocolate going on there. Yeah, them roasted malts are ruling it, you know. Yeah, the roasted malts are in the front seat on this one. With that kind of, you know, that chocolatey backbone. There's a slight hint of coffee there on, 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 the, on the back end as well.
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost like a, a very kind of that roast malt, maybe slightly burnt. It almost smells creamy. I've said this in a few reviews before. It's just it, it, you know that smell. You can almost smell the mouthfeel. Don't ask, but you know what I mean. If you once you you're getting regularly into these kind of, especially the stouts, you can almost smell the mouthfeel. Difficult to explain. C catching a whiff of some dark fruits now, maybe some. Um, Maybe some raisins, raisiny. Let's give it a try. Cheers. It's pretty damn good. This is one of them supermarket beers that. Not all, sometimes you get a supermarket beer, you'll have it and you'll think, you kind of know what you're going to get. Something I've come to realise is Fuller's, although they're, they're, they're probably a little bit more well known, they, for me, they never disappoint. Um, I mean, for instance, I've, I've had uh, London Pride on cask a few times. And it, it, it never tastes quite as good as when I first tried it. But when I when I have it in a bottle, I don't know for why. And perhaps don't get me wrong, it's probably where I had that beer. Perhaps they don't look after their lines. Who knows? But Every time I have a bottle, because it's generally bottles, you can get London Pride in cask, in cask. you can definitely get it in cask, you can get it in cans, um, which I've never had, but there have been a few times on cask, I've been, not been, bottles are fantastic, I agree with you Paul. It's got a lovely kind of smooth, almost smooth roasted malt. That roasted malt goes with the mouth feel very well kind of thing. That's what initially hits you with this beer. I mean it's leaving a crack in lacing. Almost creamy. Another beer, I've never had a, a darker, like a stout or a porter. I might have had it once. Nah. I think I had the um, London Porter on cask when I went up to see um, Harry. We, we, we went around Birmingham. Um, during the you know the couple of days we was up there, me and Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews and Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews, we done that bottle share last a bit, almost a year ago now. Wow, where's that gone? Um, and we went into a, a Fuller's Bar in Birmingham, amazing grand building, um, just fantastic. I, I tried London Porter on cask and it was just. It was just to die for the mouth. It was just so good, and it's not the ABV. Sometimes in these beers, it 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 just the flavour was amazing. The mouth feel was amazing on cask. It's just like wow. So if you're into your cask beers and you've never been to a Fuller's bar, I would strongly recommend it. I've got one near King's Cross in London that I walk past or go past in a bus. Every time I go to London, I've never been there. I'm gonna sidetrack there. Segway. Well, there's some lovely kind of dark fruits coming in there. Maybe some cherries, plums. I mean, it's only gonna get more intense as this as this beer warms up. So. Slightly longer review, apologies about that. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic, lovely mouth feel. There is a slight kind of sweetness that's left on the palate after you've drunk the beer. It's amazing that I never used to like stouts at all. Probably when I was first kind of getting into real ale, um, probably around about oh, 
about 2000, what are we now, about 2005 when I first started to get into cask and real ales and that kind of thing, I never liked stouts. And then I kind of forced myself into stouts and slowly but surely my palate got there. A lot of people still don't like stouts and stuff. Um, yeah. Once you're there, you're glad you did. Especially when it gets a bit cooler. Um, I buy drink stouts throughout the year, so a lot of people will stick to stouts in the winter, and then in the springtime they go into the pale ales, then the saisons, the sours, the Berliner Weisses, etc. When it gets really warm, um, with your IPAs, it's like IPAs. Oh, you can't drink an IPA in the winter. You got to have a stick on. <laughs> yeah, right. We're in a chatty mood now. I'm not even drunk. Oh. It's a good beer. I'm trying to let this beer warm up a little bit. That's why it's a slightly longer review. But there's there's hints of coffee there on the back end, but not not too much. There's that bitter sweet chocolate coming through. Uh, 40 IBUs. Yeah, that's, it could be coming from um, probably more the the bitter in hops. I don't know what what kind of um, hops are in this. The commercial description is Black Cap is a brilliant new Fuller's 4.2% ABV. 4.5 on the bottle here, so that's wrong. It's actually got 4.5 on, on untapped and underneath it's 4.2. Named in honour of the icon of the capital, the famous black the famous London taxi, black which is the black cap we call them over here. Um, this tasty dark beer from London's only traditional brewery will transport you, ah, oh, no pun, will transport you to the days when porters and stouts were Londoners' drink of choice, now being rediscovered by today's discerning drinker. The style of stout delivers a rich, full flavour from the chocolate, oh, it has got chocolate malts in the brew, there you go then, uh, giving way to a satisfyingly creamy finish. Boom, and I've not read that before. I don't know what it says on the back here. Um, sometimes it gives you. Oh, here we go, here's the hops. Balanced by Fuggles and Golding's hops, cre creating a satisfying, satisfying bitterness. So there you go. Contains malted barley and oats. Any other information there? The brewery is www.fullers.co.uk So all that will be down below as well as my Fullers uh, playlist and my my British Real Ale playlist. So, right, this review is way too long. I'm going to give this one more sip and a rating. And I'll give you the scores on there. I, I mean, I've checked this into Untap a few times. I can't remember exactly what I gave it, but as I am now, what I'm feeling, um, it's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 beer for me, so it's a 4 caps out of 5 on Untap. Untap says, out of 22,849 ratings, this is coming in at 3.56. So that's just a shade over 7. Um, I think it's a little bit better than that, but that's just me. Um, but out of that many ratings, yeah, it kind of it narrows it down a little bit more. As I've told you, it's been on Untapped since the 31st of October of 2011. Um, yeah, I don't know when they actually first started, but that's what Untapped says, so we'll go with that. I could go onto the website, but there you go. So anyway, if you've had this beer from the Griffin Brewery, the Fuller's... Black Cap Stout, as you can see, there's the taxi, 4.5% ABV, let me know what you think, it's definitely worthy of a try if you've not had it before, um, where does this rate among the fullest beers I've had, yeah I think it's up there, it's up there with the London Porter, which I think is probably the, excuse me, the best um, beer, excuse me, that's the best beer I think I've had from these guys, um, and I need to review that one as well. I did buy a bottle of that 
a few weeks back and I was going to review it and then end up drinking it. Oh, I could go and get enough. That kind of carry on. So that will come up in the next few weeks, hopefully. So anyway, I've gassed for a long time. I feel like this is a 20 minute review. I've no idea. Uh, thanks for watching then. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That'd be really cool. Give us a thumbs up and I will see you on the next review. Cheers. <laughs>